What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Hey. That boy lost his mind. A million percent. Gotta be drugs. Gotta be drugs. Why would you be comparing yourself to Jesus Christ? <laughs> Why would you be incriminating yourself? Talking about you didn't do 11 years in a penitentiary for nothing. You was a killer. You was kicking in doors, blowing up brains, and you're a demon and all of this crap. But only did 11 years. When you do that type of work, when you have that type of jacket on you, it's more than 11 years. And it ain't no getting out. When you got that type of baggage, it ain't no getting out. So all the acting and the gimmicks, let them have it. I just realized that he say that he don't care what people saying and this and that, but every video is always about what everybody got to say. And now you're getting angry because nobody is joining and following your coat like you thought they should be or they was doing. Too many people such as myself shed light on it that you have no control. You're emotionally a wreck. You're all over the place. And then he talking about a Willow's making a heart attack like he the only one had one. Like he the only one had one. We all know people are have those close to us that have heart attacks more than once. Then he speak on Sean Roden. That wasn't Sean Roden's first heart attack that year when he passed. It wasn't. It wasn't his first one. You know. We supposed to be praising him and so happy that he made it through. All that was self-inflicted. It was self-inflicted. Maybe it's your karma from being, your words, quote unquote, a demon, a gangster, a dope cooker, a, 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 a brain blower, a robber, a jacker. Maybe that's your karma. And if you was all that you say you are, one thing you ain't going to be afraid of is dying. You afraid of dying. You scared to die. You terrified. You snotting out the nose, spitting out the mouth. On all that good watermelon. To what? Try to get a point across. To who? Who are you trying to convince? Yourself? Because apparently... You got some psychological issues. And for someone to be going through so much and so many different mood swings, turmoil, and all of that, like he roid raging, like he's on, like he's on gear. Like, why always be on camera going live when you do this stuff? If you guys notice, every time he go on a deep end, it's always on a live because he can't edit that out. But he's so hard up for financial freedom to where he's willing to let that sit out there. I say, don't give me what I'm looking for. Don't give me what I'm looking for because I will use it. Every time he give me what I'm looking for, I keep telling y'all, I'm going to use it. Now, I'm not going to lie. It feel like when I make videos of this such now, we see how he's spiraling out like I'm kicking him while he's down. But in the same token, he's making it seem like he's up. Because if he was really being genuine, I'd be the first one to take my jacket off and give it to him. But he's so busy being a manipulator, a contradictor, and all of the other bad things that comes with that. But yet... This is someone that said he was a demon. He was a robber. He was a jacker. He was kicking in door, blowing brains out. He did 11 years in the penitentiary. And now he's preaching Muslim. Then he preaching Christian. 
And then he's comparing himself to Jesus Christ. And now all of a sudden he say he's a God. I wonder who he get that from. Maybe he tapping into his roots and realizing that if we are in the image of God, we are gods. Females are goddess. So I can't fault him for saying he's a God. I actually commend him for that. But everything else that he incriminating himself about, we know it's an act. We see how he act when the police come around. We seen the video. We see how he act. He turns into Putin. So all of them crazy antics and spazzing out, calling your supporters stupid. You calling your supporters, your fan base that goes on my videos and my comments to defend you, stupid. You calling them idiots because they not living their life the way that you say living. So should they go ahead and start robbing, jacking, kicking in doors, blowing brains out, becoming a demon, going to jail for 11 years, get out, write a cookbook, and then have a heart attack, and then turn around and start preaching, this is what they should do. So if they're going to do as you, should they go do all of that? Or should they just say, no, let me do what he's telling me to do now? A wise person would understand that you can't listen to nothing you're saying. They can hear you, but they don't need to listen and do what you say because you have no self-control over yourself. You see, and it's sad. I know you probably like, oh, Mac Truck don't know nothing. Mac Truck is hating. Mac Truck is jealous of what? Having a heart attack, becoming a, a fruititarian and a sociopath scaring my family no ah no 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 i don't want none of that guy you can have that that's all you that's all you champ but the one thing i can guarantee you the road that you going down all of that attention tension you carrying in your neck and shoulders all of the spazzing out Throughout the days, you will have another heart attack. There's no fruit. There's no seeds. There is no amount of alkaline water that can prevent that. Because it's self-inflicted on you. It's your karma. Remember, you say you was a demon. Once a demon, always a demon. And if you was all of that, trust me. You don't get out, brother. You don't get out. Somebody once asked me. Mac, why you just can't leave the streets alone? Why you just can't leave the whole gang banging mentality alone? Why you got to still, why you had to make a motorcycle gang and all of this stuff? I said, <laughs> ain't no getting out. Once you in it deep, ain't no getting out. I graduated. I'm a gang member. I'm not a gang banger. I'm a gang member. I got this grave. I don't sit out there. I don't do nothing violent to nobody unless they force my hand. I dang sure don't take a robber steal from no one. I don't do that. I'm not going to go snatch no woman's purse, nobody money out the ATM. That's not in me. It's not. Do I got dark in me? Absolutely. Was born with it. I battle it every day. But the one thing I have more than dark, I have a genuine heart. I don't mislead, manipulate anyone. I'm always honest. I'm always respectful. And I'm always giving credit where credit is due. That's what I am. So all this trying to prove that you really, this gangster, stripper, pimp, drug dealer, crack slanger and all of that, you can have it. Like I said, your name ain't got no weight in the streets. I ain't getting nothing on you far as nothing pertaining male exotic, far as nothing pertaining a, a, a shata in the penitentiary system. None of that. I ain't getting none of that. And I am heavily connected. So you want to say you are? You are. You're all of that.
you want to keep incriminating yourself, go ahead. Go ahead. You want to keep going to people's jobs and workplaces, insulting them, disrespecting them because of the choices that they made to make an honest dollar? Go ahead. You want to insult the working peoples at the gyms and McDonald's and all that? Go ahead. Because guess what? I'd rather them do that than to rob someone, kick in somebody's door, blow their brains out, cook dope, and become a demon. So you say you are. You ain't nothing but an actor and a terrible actor. Your channel is good for comedy, entertainment purposes. Keep it there. Try to learn and control your emotions. Control your emotions because right now you're not representing your bloodline too well. You actually making your bloodline look very bad. You making yourself look bad and you making those that's supposed to be your friends and close to you look even worse because ain't none of them trying to check you on your stuff. Ain't none of them trying to have a conversation with you about your stuff. No one. Now, I will give credit where credit is due. With your supplement line, you rerouting stuff. You, you trying your best to take all the stuff that you stand against out of your, out of your uh, ingredient list and everything. You getting rid of the stems. I commend you for that. But everything else, you got to get a grip on it, homie. Because you spiraling out. You looking real bad. Now, those of you that did not see that live because understand people send me the stuff i don't go looking they send me the stuff i'm i'm already established enough to where i don't have to go to nobody's channel i don't have to go to nobody's channel because it get brought to me i'm gonna put some clips right at the end of this video so y'all could be the judge of it i would no longer make fun poke at cali muscle because Cali Muscle is damaged in the head. He's mentally going through something. And it is not fun to poke at anyone that have mental health issues. He's having mental health issues. And I'm going to leave it there. So making fun of that dude is over with. I'm going to always speak the truth and speak the facts. And it is what it is. Until next time, I'll smell y'all later. You must go, I could care less what anybody is. When God wake you up and tell you you only got a mission, you better answer, man. And uh, who better else to talk about it than me? The person almost died. Like, that's what a lot of y'all don't understand. God saved me from a widow maker. Me and the bodybuilder, Sean Rogan, had the heart attack the same day. He could have took me as well. You know what I mean? I don't think, y'all just think I'm on here talking. Like, I just, one day, it was like, oh, me watermelon. Like, one day, I just all of a sudden, no. I'm alive, motherfuckers. I had a widow make her Google it. 100% clogging. That mean I could have went brain dead. The blood would probably stop. All my fucking organs. You understand that, motherfucker? Do you understand that? You motherfuckers don't understand shit. 100% fucking clogging. I mean, I could have had a stroke or a brain down anything, motherfucker. But I'm trying to teach you to preach, you motherfucker. Now, I feel, I see how Jesus felt. Try to come, hear the message, tell you know for the right for wrong. You're just stupid, man.